Good morning everyone. Today is 26th of October and it is December campaign shoot day. My face is very, very dry and I have not had the start to the day that I would want to have. Last night our dishwasher packed up and for some reason, although my husband assures me that this is not the case, we don't have hot water this morning. So I've just had to um, wash my face using boiling water from the boiling water tap mixed with the freezing cold water that we currently have. I've realised the time is, well, I was up at half five. The time is now six. At six o'clock on the dot, the boiler came on. So I think maybe a few too many wash loads were done in the evening and the boiler has now kicked in to heat up the water and I should have hot water in about an hour. So I'm gonna to have to get my makeup on first, wait to do my hair, and then have my shower. This is gonna be an interesting start to a campaign and not how I would want it to go, but mind over matter. Mind over matter. Mimi's up, but it's not. Alex is upstairs setting up to do my makeup. <laughs> Let's turn this into a photo shoot ready goddess. The makeup table is set. And I've finally been able to confront Alex because Alex definitely stole my glass powder. I did. And then she tells me that her friend also accused her of stealing her glass powder. So Alex must know that glass powder sells out all the time. So she's stocking up by stealing her <laughs> friends. <laughs> so I haven't had it for a month. She, she says she doesn't have it, but it's, I don't believe her. It's too early to be accused of being a thief, but I only have one glass powder. She's hiding them. No, I'm not. She's hiding the goods. <laughs> right, okay, close your eyes, please. It's so weird because this collection feels like it's come around so quickly, but in the same breath, how long ago does the shoot feel? I know. Do you know what? It's been a whole year since you've been doing it. I know, yeah. I bet you were sat here as well, like, she's stolen my glass back. Yeah, I was. I miss it, and I can't, I can't even buy it myself. Stars come to shine. Right. This is my custard. Okay, you saw it come out of my kit, okay? <laughs> I was gonna make when have I ever made chocolate? You've never done my brows. Yes I have. Have you? Yeah. Okay. I've done your brows before. Or I've put product in them and touched them. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? Of course, for today's shoot, I am wearing my previous collection. I've got my autumn floral dress on, which I absolutely love. I've teamed it with my Alexander McQueen belt, which um, hopefully there'll be a double buckle somewhere in, in the next collection because I know how much you guys want them. But we've also got our Le Bouton boots on, which are my brown suede ones. It's just been the worst morning to ever start a campaign. I actually can't believe how bad this has gone because we put the boiler on and then Ali had set a timer for the washing machine to start as the boiler started. So there was zero hot water. Everything has just gone wrong this morning. My jumpers are wet, so I can't take those with me for the shoot, which is absolutely brilliant. They were in said washing machine that went on at 6 a.m. It is just not going well. But we are gonna jump in the taxi now and head to Kew Gardens, which is gonna, we're gonna turn the day around in the car because at the moment I'm not in a great mood. <laughs> but we're gonna turn the day around in the car and um, head down to Kew Gardens for a very, very successful shoot. Fingers crossed, the weather plays ball and we're just gonna have a very good day. Sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? I couldn't get them off. So hair and makeup is done. We're about to get the first buggy over to the greenhouses, is what they're calling them. I don't know if there's a technical name for them here at Kew Gardens, but we will find out. It's probably going to be the most epic greenhouse ever. But I love my makeup and we're shooting in what is quite possibly one of my most favourite dresses ever. I love the high neck on this and the 
fact that you've got this kind of like nude inlay is just incredible this would make such a beautiful like christmas day new year's eve kind of dress if you like the longer line but it also comes in a shorter version as well but we're going to head over there and start shooting which i actually can't believe that we're already shooting another collection it's unreal so you can see the length of the dress a little bit better here this is just so perfect honestly the sleeves like there's all the drama i loved it when i showed you the first dress as well you everyone was like oh my god the drama in the sleeves but this is all of the drama it's almost got kind of like a gothic glam feel to it as well but it just makes me so so happy to have beautiful dresses to wear in winter and that was exactly what what i said to the the team i was like i want to put together beautiful winter dresses that feel elegant and so i think that we've got a really really good selection in this particular collection and you'll be able to pop layers underneath them and it will just be so easy to wear and not get cold and that's what I wanted to achieve with them so this is the first one we're gonna head on to set and get shooting <laughs> Alex, well, your chariot <laughs> Graceful. Sorry? Yeah. My triple gems. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Do you want that HMI off, Katie? Or down at least? Yeah, because it's on that leg. <laughs> it looks like you've got two more arms. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's better. Eyes back to camera, stunning. Yeah, they look lovely. Yeah. So this is outfit number, I've actually already lost count because we've had to change so many different times, but I think we're shooting look two now and this is the first time I'm seeing this dress. This dress has been in the works for such a long time. So this is actually the first sample that I've ever tried on and it is so exciting to see this because I really wanted to continue that winter autumn floral but I wanted something that was still going to be quite colourful at that time of year but muted in tones. The pleating just makes me so happy and these sleeves, oh so much drama. So um, this is look number two and I am so excited to see some of you wearing this because I know how much you all loved the autumn floral. So this is a little bit of a winter floral. Actually, literally influences 
in the wild. It's <laughs> quite. <laughs> this is this is actually the front cover of the album for Influence This is a real in the world. trial. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Trying um, it on some leather leggings and a humidity filled room. <laughs> yeah. but, this, but this is the kind of thing that we used to do in the early days of vlogging. Like, I think there's still people that do it. I don't don't do it because I don't have the patience for it anymore. Like, take, I used to take out, outfits down to London. You used to book easy hotel. Yeah, I used to book a, like a fifty pound hotel in in uh, Kensington or something. And like that is the scariest place I've ever been in my life. And I would change in the easy hotels and shoot outfits in London. Now I just shoot in the fields where I live. Yeah. I'm like, I gave up on that dream. I don't live in London. <laughs> Intimiss me vests, essential. <laughs> All of the layers. Every time I come and think, oh come on, I'm like, I don't know what number we're on, but I love this. This is a signature Lydia Elise Millen outfit. We've got sleeveless blazer which is long line which I personally love but this is like my dream boucle style none of the span dangly stuff we've gone no buttons cinched in belt leather trousers to make the legs look super long and you can buy both of these pieces as part of my collection this season as well but I feel very snazzy right now a little bit like my hair has dropped a bit because it's very very humid but we're kind of rocking some two sold rock and roll waves Look the other way. Action. Let's do one more. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm like, can't work this out. Hello. You're trying to get the good light. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, I just put my hand in that, and that was definitely a cobweb. Oh my god, that is a massive cobweb. Where? Up here. Just don't even touch it. You don't want me to get rid of it? No. Okay. Something. It's alright, sweetie. <laughs> that is horrendous. Come there! <laughs> we are just on the, the, the buggy and we're heading back to the house. We finished off shooting three of the looks in the... <laughs> in the greenhouse and it has been a very very eventful day um, it's very interesting shooting in front of so many people but in such a like confined space I have loved it um, I think that everyone else has found it really hot but I was at my optimum temp temperature it's been a very very busy morning but it's been good and now we're gonna eat some food this is what's behind me whilst I'm vlogging lots of people <laughs> lots and lots of people <laughs> What pheasants like? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's well, it's, okay, that's kind of a bit of a cr cross between a Christmas turkey and mm. a pheasant. But they, they are hilarious because they are the stupidest birds. Oh my gosh. Because basically they're hunted by hunters. They beat them out of the ground and so when they fly up, they go, oh! And never know where they are. And then they, just <laughs> and then they get shot and you're like, you <laughs> On to look number four and this dress I have been so excited to show you because I just feel like again this is like a continuation when we find something and it just becomes this beautiful piece we kind of want to continue it through the collection so this is definitely the winter version of piped dress but we've added a little bit of like attitude to it with some studs but then we've got the most beautiful blue on sleeves pleated skirt it is just so so beautiful i am just in love with all of the dresses in this collection so now we're going to go and shoot this outside i've got a cardigan because it's going to be cold and i've got freshly cropped hair <laughs> so i'm going to wait for these to drop a little bit but on to look for green thank you is it even a karen millen shoot if stevie's not up your dress somehow <laughs> i love this Back. Come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are if anyone ever says that i'm a diva show them this okay this is me <laughs> in my changing room <laughs> i don't like you anymore
Timo. Goodbye. <laughs> Ding the womb. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is glamour. <laughs> I don't. I didn't think I was recording when I said it, but I just said Lids looked like she was walking across the lawn like a giraffe, having just exited the wa womb. The balls of your feet like this. I just look like a yeti. You do. <laughs> anyway, we are on to the cosy outfits, which means I don't have to get cold out here. It's not actually that cold today, though, so it's not so bad. But this coat, guys. Oh my goodness. How? Amazing is this and cue the plane flying in as well. I timed that perfectly <laughs> But this is just such a great warm cozy look and I just I love it It's this is my idea of the easiest winter outfit that looks beautiful ever so Bambi on womb <laughs> <laughs> Go to me I'm in the video vlog. <laughs> we are just getting ready to shoot one of the looks and I have never ever done a shoot with so many people around. But just in the background, <laughs> you can see they're all going to be very disappointed if they think it's someone famous because uh, it's just me. But what I wanted to show you was this shot here. You can just about see it. This is the entrance to one of the um, greenhouses. This is the oldest greenhouse in the world apparently. They might be lying when they told me that. But the symmetry of this shot is making me very, very happy. So I'm going to come out those doors and uh, it's going to look very pretty. So we can do a winter collection without a very, very snuggly sleeveless jacket. And this one is so nice because it comes down to just above the knee. And it looks lovely with leather trousers, which is why I style everything with it this time of year. And I've stitched it in with a belt. It is so cozy. Right now we're going to shoot this because um, it's getting cold and it's just about to start raining. And there are so many people everywhere. I'm a little bit nervous, but we do it anyway. I wonder. <laughs> sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights why okay, does the rain the always keep on pouring down when it's this is quite possibly my most favorite piece for the entire collection it's also the most expensive it's about 17 yeah, you need people. them. Yeah. <laughs> they need to be deep <laughs> and plentiful. <laughs> with like cashmere base layers as well so that you can wear it in the cold months. That was really something that I wanted to design was something that you could wear and then still be cozy and warm, layer it up with cardigans, cinch it with a belt, so I Until winter comes, it really makes me wonder. morning everyone it is 7 30 in the morning and i've just finished up my pt session with my pt steve and porter is waiting at the back door because he wants to come in because he's just been out for his morning wee one second oh my goodness both babies here here you come here you come my love that is 
hands down the cutest thing ever. Sorry, my hair is a little bit wild. I let Porter out for his morning wee and I just sort of walk off, I leave him to it because if I watch him, he tries to come back in. So I've walked off, I've left him to it and I've come back and both him and Lumi are sat at the front, at the back door waiting to come in. They are just so wholesome. I think that Lumi's still like, sometimes she's just a bit like, Porter, you're too much for me. But on the whole, they are just adorable together. But I got home yesterday, oh my gosh, I was so tired. I think because I'd had such a bad start to the day, I think I probably like that sort of start just like makes you more tired because sometimes I can do a campaign shoot and I'm fine. But I think I just, I let my, my own negative feelings override things. And obviously it's a good thing and a wonderful thing that Ali obviously was doing the washing and obviously in hindsight it's like, oh gosh, I'd rather him do the washing. But at the same time, it's highlighted a problem with our water and when it heats up because I get up really early and sometimes before six o'clock and our hot water actually doesn't come on until six o'clock. So um, we've reset that now, so it's good. Ali also fixed the dishwasher, which was amazing. So we didn't need to call him anymore. I love that he's so handy. Like it, it, that is one thing I will say. I love that he's so handy, but I am up and raring for the day. Although considering I was so tired, I woke up at four o'clock and I have not gone back to sleep. And I had the weirdest thing because I was like, oh, you know, I've just woken up early. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to go and I'm, I'm going to make myself a coffee and I'm going to sit at the kitchen table. I might go for a run and I'm sat there like umming and ahhing with myself. Like, do I go for a run? Do I go for a run? And it, I've like done a little bit of work. And then all of a sudden, 6.30, the doorbell goes. And I was like, who is at our door at 6.30 in the morning? And I've like opened up our CCTV and I'm like, who is that? And it looks like a car that would like pick me up if I was going to like a shoot or a um, event or something like that. So I was like, hello, hello. And then I realized it's Steve, my PT. <laughs> Such an idiot. I was like there in my dressing gown. I was like, Steve, I'm so sorry. I'll be two seconds. I was completely up. I just completely forgot that you were coming. And that was that. But no, it feels good to have done two PT sessions this week and had um, a walk with Porter. I'll probably have another walk today as well. But I have the house to myself today. I think this is one of the bonuses and pluses and positives that I find from Ali loving golf so much is that I do get a lot more time like in the house by myself. And because we have people that work from the house, it often feels like we just don't ever get the house to ourselves. So he is playing golf in Wentworth today and he made friends with his, his caddy when he played at the Pro-Am. And um, so he's playing with him today, which is gonna be lovely for him. And I'm gonna stay at the house. I've got some work and little bits and bobs and pieces to do around the house. I've also had a delivery of artwork that I have been waiting for for such a long time. It's worth the wait. I had the frames like made bespoke and like we designed them, well actually no, no, that's a complete lie. Uh, Becky showed them to me and I was like, that is, that is it. I said, I said to her the colors that I wanted to like incorporate so that they would go in our house really, really well. Yeah, and then it took a while because it was artwork to get it delivered and picked up and things like that because we didn't want to use any van in case anything got like rude. I mean, these are just prints. Um, so they're not like originals. One day I hope to have an original Brian Hanlon, one day, but we shall see. <laughs> But anyway, that is basically, the oh, I'll link them and I'll show you them. I'm going to unpack them with you. They're downstairs at the moment because they arrived whilst I was on the shoot. But the shoot went so well, like really, really well. And it was really funny actually because it was obviously really, really warm in the greenhouse, like the, the glass houses at Kew Gardens. Um, and everyone was like, oh my God, I'm sweating so much. So I think this is where my low body temperature comes in really useful because I was literally wearing, at one point, I had a shearling coat on, which you would have seen yesterday, which is just the most spectacular piece ever. Um, I had a shearling coat on and tights and then leather leggings over the top. And I was like, guys, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, it's actually not that warm in here. <laughs> but it was damp, so my hair kept dropping. I, got, I feel like I've got verbal diarrhea, so bear with me today. Also, we used the small GHD curve on my hair and I don't know, but I think I might prefer it. Like when you initially do it, it is literally like ringlets, but I feel like the smaller barrel gives way more like texture. Like, what do you think? Tell me what you think, but I, I think I love it. So I might actually have to order the smaller wand because 
I will say, using the GHD one yesterday, oh my god, it is so much better than my, my Diva one. Like, the Diva one is a really good affordable option, but, like, the clip is so bad that I, like catch my hair in it and it like breaks my hair so um i'm i think i'm i might stop using it i don't know whether that's because the clip is like moved or whatever but i think i'm going to order the smaller one because i've got the 34 and i think there's like a 32 or there's a 32 and whatever however i did use the cordless ghd on set and honestly it wasn't very good but their curves are the best on the market. As far as I'm concerned, their ones best on the market, best that I've used. After using it again yesterday, it, it absolutely is the best. The Diva one is just more affordable if you want to use it and has a bigger barrel, but I think the texture, I just love it. What else did I have to tell you? Oh, oh my gosh, we stayed up and we watched the launch of the new Range Rover, hashtag the new Range Rover, which I don't know if I vlogged it, or not i definitely put it on stories basically i went to go and put my order in for my next car because my um sport goes back soon and it was a good job i did because they let me know that there's like such a long lead time on things so but then they also said to me but wait don't order anything yet because the new one is being launched in a couple of weeks i've been a range rover customer for like six years i'm a big land rover fan you know this and it launched last night and it was so 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 exciting oh my goodness and i love it i'm just nervous that they're not going to do the color that i want in it because the color was in the old the old style but i've emailed my guy anyway and fingers crossed we're going to get that in because i love cars i've always loved cars they've always been on my channel so for me this is really exciting and i've been patient i've like waited the whole three years usually i get bored after a year and i change my car but i have loved my Range Rover Sport so much. I remember Ali's dad didn't have a good experience with his Range Rover. And so I was always like, oh gosh, are they like bad cars or whatever? I have never had an issue with, a, with my Range Rovers ever. I've honestly, like, I will never have another car ever. So we watched it last night, we had the fire on, Porter was asleep in front of the, the fire and we watched it and I was just like, I love it. I love it. Didn't like the colorways of the special edition SV didn't like that definitely preferred the one from the old uh, Range Rover it just looked a little bit spandangly to me it looked a bit like let's put rose gold on things but yeah anyway I'm just having a nine minute chat with you about everything and um, now I'm gonna go and get myself washed because obviously I didn't have a proper shower yesterday and I was too tired when I got home so I really am gonna take my time in the shower today and scrub everything we've obviously sorted out the water problem and Luckily, my marriage is still intact. <laughs> Just because I'm sure he would have wanted to divorce me when I was like, why have you taken all the water at four in the morning? <laughs> Anywho, ooh, vitamins. I need to take my vitamins because I actually left the house yesterday and forgot. Still taking all of my gummies. Well Woman, Probiotic, Hair Burst, and my, oh, hello little bambini. Oh my goodness, he's so happy. Good morning. These are not for you, these are gummies for your mommy. So yeah, I've had my morning coffee. What else do I have to tell you? I think that's about it. My little forty. My forty boop boop. <laughs> Well, I have had a very, very busy morning. The time is now almost one o'clock and I'm about to make myself a warm mug of tea because I feel like I deserve it. I've filmed reels, stories, emails, and I've actually started sorting out things for the new car, which is very exciting. I just, I love cars. You know, I, you've got those things that you're like passionate about. Handbags, cars. Cars is a really unexpected one though, because I don't actually like driving. <laughs> I'll get out of driving, I just really like cars. <laughs> anyway, this one is having a little sniff down here, which is lovely. And I thought we could go down into the basement and open up the, well, actually I might bring them up here because I know Monsieur Saucisse, who is creeping around the basket there, will get very, very angry if he hears me talking to you downstairs without him. So I thought we would start with the smallest one because I've got two big ones and um, a smaller one. And basically I just have to decide where they go. So these are from 
Whip it and binge. So basically, this is the print so the print side of Brian Hannon, which is handled by his daughter. And this is one of his newest prints, which I just think is, is absolutely beautiful. We get bluebells in the area around here. Oh my goodness, the frame! Oh well, you are not playing with polystyrene, mister. I am not gonna leave you there. I'm gonna do it in the kitchen because I think that it'll be much easier than me bending down. It is absolutely stunning. You wouldn't know that this is a print. It looks, you can see the brush strokes. It is absolutely perfection. And this frame, I believe, is a mixture of drop cloth and bronze. She bought the paints, like my most favorite paints that are used in the house, which is drop cloth. And then we have bronze from, I think it's, is it little green, little green paint that's on our bedside table? This is wonderful. If you haven't gathered, I have a huge, huge love for like modern still life art. And <laughs> yeah, so Brian Hanlon, Rob Walker, literally they are like my favorites, but this one, so that's the first one. And I think that that would probably go up in the kitchen, to be honest. This one is a lot heavier. I think it's probably the cardboard. So if one of these was a birthday or Christmas gift from Carrie. I think it was a birthday gift actually, probably last year. And I meant for ages to get it framed. And when Becky showed me her framing, I actually sent it back to Whip It and Finch and got her to frame it because she frames everything so beautifully. So this is my favorite one. And it's heavier because it's framed with art glass, I believe. But this piece, when I saw it, <laughs> I was honestly like, oh my goodness, that is the most perfect piece for my home ever. And again, framed in the same framing as the bluebells. So this is not the one from Carrie. This is the one that I actually uh, purchased myself. And why I love this, can you tell? First of all, we've got lots of beautiful pheasant feathers here in a little pot. Then there's an aged terracotta plant pot, which obviously I have aged terracotta pots all around my home. And then this is a particular style of antique jar that I love and I have so many of them around my house. These just calm my soul. I actually cannot explain to you what this style of art actually does to me. <laughs> and one of the things that you'll see in, in a lot of um, Brian Hammond's work is there's like a lot of eggs or feathers. It's almost quite, what's the word? Like, ma not majestic, but it's almost like fantasy. There's some of his pieces are almost like fantasy worlds that he captures and paints. And it's just phenomenal. It was actually Carrie's boyfriend who introduced me to Brian Hanlon. And I instantly bought one of his prints. Obviously, like I said, I would one day love a, a, an original, um, but I've got to save some pennies for that one. But this one, I don't even know where this is gonna go, but it's gonna go somewhere. Oh, and we have more, we have more. And then this one, the one Carrie got me. Again, framed in drop cloth and bronze. I just loved the way both of those colors look together in our bedroom. And this is one that's slightly more simplistic, but still has that rustic feel to it. And this was probably purchased by Carrie. This is purchased two years ago, and then I've got one in the hallway as well that was purchased two years ago. That's four pieces of Brian Hanlon's work. I just loved the way that this was just so simplistic. Little egg, little rustic bowl there, and again, lots of sage green colors. I just thought it was beautiful. So now we're gonna hold them up in the kitchen and see which one we think is best. Okay, hopefully you're not too low down there. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. You do not have to come and help your mommy, okay? You don't have to help. You can stay in bed, my boy. Yes, you can. Did Daddy give you a bath yesterday? He did. Daddy give you a bath yesterday. Oh, yes, my boy. <laughs> 
You are just the cutest. You are. You are. Oh. Okay, right, let's make a decision. I think personally it is this one. I think the size is perfect for the wall. Not too overpowering. It's also got the glass. And I just think it's a bit more subtle. So I think that this is actually the underdog and my favourite one. I do. I think that that's my favourite one. Size-wise, looks-wise, colours-wise. These ones are slightly bigger, so I reckon that these can go in places like the hallway or the games room or the living room. So this is the one with the pots and the feathers. This is the one that I was just utterly obsessed with. If I can even get my words out. And then finally, a bit of saucy smooths out of the way, which I think colours-wise, this actually works really well as well. This is the one that Carrie got me for my birthday. I think colour-wise, this is actually really complimentary. But I think size-wise, the other one is better. And it's a little bit more of a focal point. I know I'm going to get so many questions about my pieces from Rob Walker. Basically, I'm going to come down here. Basically, what I want to do with those is I actually want to um, kind of design the front guest bedroom kind of around those particular pieces and have them in there because I just feel like they're so special. They give me kind of air in home vibes and so I want to have a lit, like I want to somehow merge the elegance and kind of um, daintiness of air in home with a bit more of a rustic feel in that room. And I think that my Rob Walker pieces are going to be absolutely perfect for that. So don't worry, I've still got them. I've still got them, I love them still. They are literally just so beautiful. Stop smelling my crotch. Anyway, now I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because I have a Teams call with the Karen Millen team because we have a lot more collections to start working on, guys. <laughs> and I have totally, totally just let the cat out of the bag, bag there. So, yee, but it's very exciting for me. It's so, so exciting. And um, yeah, so anyway, cup of tea and I'm going to get in front of my computer. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days. Can you spot Porter in the garden? There he goes. Honestly, he just loves running around out there. Oh, his life. I mean, I like the far left because it's got those sagey tones in it. As long as it's got that more delicate feel, I think, and in the right fabric, I definitely see that that type of uh, print working. Almost like you've just poured water on like a water painting or something like that. And it's just, yeah, I love that. I think there's also a way to continue that that taping detail that we've do, we've been doing, but more on, less contrasty. Go in, yeah. go in with something that's a little bit more delicate, more blush tone, and then a sort of blush taped bodice that that um, feels much more delicate, but still has that almost like a Brock collection kind of yeah. feel. Yeah. I, I love the contrast belts. I think that in some of the floral ideas, bringing in like a, you know, like a green velvet belt or something like that, just to, to, to contrast something, I think that would work really, really well. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from... Um, we talked about this, is that really kind of looking at how many of these areas we want to, to tap into, just, to, just so that we've got a bit of a focus. Like, should we be aiming for sort of like four or five or is it three or four or just so it, we don't get like a, too many like bitty things because it was what I said about the, the heritage collection it felt really like we hit loads of different marks but it all worked well together I think that this is we can go a bit further afield the good thing about that is you can kind of go in any direction only looking at the picture book, just from the, the back shot of the, the midi dress, it's almost too flat and it, it looks like it would be, um, you, can, you can see the whole print of the fabric, you'd want a bit more movement in it. Do you think that that's going to cause any kind of bulking at the waistband or anything like that? It almost looks quite Alessandra Riche 
um, it's, it's like really exaggerated collar, but I think, I, yeah, I agree with that. Well, I am still sat here. Porter's got his big chunk of olive wood. Uh, it is half five and um, I probably finished my design meeting with Caramel and probably an hour ago. And it was nearly two hours long, but we did cover um, issues with this collection. Um, we basically probably would have heard that we went through some like design changes for pieces in the next collection and even started brainstorming the collection after that. So um, it was basically lots of like sifting through trend reports and me, um, now I go away and basically pick out the, the trends and the, the things that I feel fit with my style. So it's kind of like, I don't really look for trends, FYI, but I look for the things that sort of lean into the type of clothing that I will wear season on season, if that makes sense. So I will be sifting through trend reports probably tomorrow when they're printed off. We're at, that is a very exciting text message. I am, but <laughs> my brain is everywhere at the moment, sorry. But we are getting some boards made, some bespoke, I love the word bespoke. I'm getting some boards made that um, are like fabric covered pin boards to go up in the office so that they're still soft against the walls. We're gonna try and have them done in sort of like a French linen style with like a stripe to it. I think we're looking on Etsy. So I can have each collection that we're working on kind of imminently pinned up on the board so that I can reference them because I often find, especially with how my brain works, I need to have like distinctive lines between things. Otherwise things tend to blur into one. So if I have these boards separate that I can have each collection on and I can reference, right? Okay, this is like the winter collection, this is spring collection, whatever, whatever. So we're having that done as well. It was just brilliant. Like I loved it. I was seeing like samples and I was saying like, we need more in the sleeves. We need different cuffs, buttons, things like that. So it was really, it was such a good meeting. I always love my design meetings with the design team because honestly, like they are just so like inspiring and also so incredible to work with. Like I think that that's really something that I need to stress. It, like, I, I, I mean, I said it before, but I'll say it again. Like they never make me feel stupid ever. Even when they talk to me and they're like, oh, the, you know, the darting and the pin tucking on this. And obviously I am not design trained and I don't claim to be in any way, shape or form. I'm someone with a passion for fashion. They are the people with the, the design training. And, and so when sometimes when they speak, it's like they're speaking a different language. And I, I slowly learn things, but I also appreciate how like amazing they are with it. So yeah, always a great meeting. That, well, I'm now going to finish off probably this vlog very, very soon because I feel like we've just talked so much today. It's one of those days. Life is starting to pick up. Ali's on his way home. This is a text message from the girls at Stories. So I've worked with them previously, but they have, it's just this weird like thing, okay? Last year, when it came to Christmas time, I really, really wanted to have like custom made Christmas cards, like really beautiful Christmas cards. You know, ones that like are just an experience to open. I love, I love giving people like experiences. And there's this one design studio that I feel like they epitomize the experience and the journey and the story of a, of a brand. And we, what were we chatting about? Oh, um, they saw, cause I have their diaries and I use their diaries for a lot of my content planning, like literally just scribbling over their diary, their beautiful linen covered diaries. And they messaged me to let me know that they have their actual kind of like agenda journals coming out in like leather, green leather. And, um, and I said to them, I was like, Do you know, it's really funny. One day I'd really loved, cause they are so talented and like their prices like reflect that. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. So I was like, oh, one day I'd really love to have like a custom, I'd love to have you guys design my Christmas cards because I just feel like you would make them so special. And they were like, well, actually that's exactly what we're doing at the moment. They sent me the designs and I was like, oh my God, guys, this is like, you are literally inside my brain. Anyway, they have designed my Christmas cards. It's also, we're also gonna have wax seals. Oh my gosh. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Oh, they are so beautiful. 
Basically, it was a, a toss up of two designs. I wanted to do a greenhouse with a wreath on the door, which has literally, it's, it's perfect. And the other one was I wanted a Land Rover Defender with a wreath on the front of it. We might not be able to do that one because it's all very minimal drawing. It's a very simplistic and I wanted them to say like, happy holidays, um, love the Mill and Gordon family or from the Mill and Gordon family. So I, I'm basically planning our custom Christmas cards, which I want gold foil on them and they're done in really beautiful card. And yeah, I'm just, I'm in full Christmas kind of planning mode and I need to get planning on the decor as well. So maybe that will be like my next vlog that we start planning Christmas decor. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I'm not gonna spoil any more of my Christmas card plans with you. And I'm gonna get on with finishing my day and then possibly having some dinner when my husband gets home. But the house is nice and clean, haven't made a mess. And it's been a very, very, very lovely day. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.